uh, like you will now sway to the side of like normally and once again you will start spinning and uh, I stopped using my mouse now and how do you view the front of yourself I don't know um Nope, can't psych it out. I don't know, I forget. Okay, uh, let's press F8 again and get rid of that. I'm just not used to that yet. Maybe later on. See, now it'll just stop right away. But, um... How do you view the front of yourself? Is it becoming nighttime again? Hmm. Maybe... Let's go check the sun when we awake from our bed. Let's go back there. Um, let's go back to the bed since it's nighttime and check the sun. Actually, let's bring a watch with us and see it's coming nighttime now. Um, I don't know. It looks kind of weird because it's halfway, but um, I'm not sure. Let's yeah, we can ride the bed and we're closing our eyes here. And we wake up, and, uh, it's about half day again? I don't know. Um, kind of weird. Um, let's kind of put our stuff back here. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the main important updates. I'm pretty sure. And, well, um, let's place that here, that here, and, yeah, I guess I'll just kind of read off the update page here. Um, there's the beds, the repeater blocks, um, the new half, the half size blocks. Oh, slimes have a g higher respawn rate, which is wonderful because I have yet to see a slime either. Um, there's a graphic setting screen. Let's... Is there a graphic setting screen? Um... I guess it's kind of this. Oh, yeah, and on third person, your player will only, like, bob side to side if you bobbing is on. So that's always good. Um... There's more than five worlds possible, like I said earlier, um... Ability for the toggle lighting. Oh, uh, yeah, the new world save format, which is why they need to be converted. And when starting new world, players can choose their own name and seed to generate the world. And scroll bars um, in the texture pack. And world map selection. Uh, server things. There's now added whitelisting to the server. F1 and F3 now toggle stuff, like F1 toggles uh, the HUD. Um, and it, when F3 is pressed, mobs display a number over their head like sheep. Um, I guess in the entity ID. F8 again toggles smooth, uh, mouse smoothing. In third person mode, I already said views side to side. Sandstone is now found at the bottom of naturally generated sand, which is cool. That's like four sand and one block. Um, all pressure, pr all pressure plates now require two things, and stones are now stone slabs are now three. Uh, sandstein, the mine time is decreased. Redstone dust will get darker away from its source power. New painting added. Um, deleting world confirmation chase. Lapis lazuli now drops four to eight pieces when mined instead of one in SMP. Sulfur renamed the back to gunpowder, which is such a better name anyway. Uh, taiga question mark bi biomes have a evergreen like style of tree. Um, but that was kind of added in 1.2, I guess. Bug fixes. When breaking double slabs, one slab placed on another will drop two slabs instead of one, like I already said. Wooden logs don't burn forever now. That sucks. I just realized that my wood, my main world, wasn't burning anymore. That kind of sucks. I, I wish they did burn forever. 
I wish that wasn't a bug. Anyway. Uh, F1 in third person no longer flips. You can no longer look at the front of yourself anymore. That is stupid. I don't know how that's a bug fix. Anyway, grassland, sand related biome, border fixed. Oh yeah, that thing was always glitched. It'd f like, show like half of it and the rest would be water and it'd be kind of funny. So, they uh, don't show chunk borders anymore. And they line up instead of having a huge space, which I thought was kind of funny. Anyway, um. Uh. Players can no longer use the quick release to quickly mine blocks, which only applies to SMP. I don't know what the quick release really is. I might have heard of it. I think it's when you use something that can mine it and then quickly switch to like a diamond pick. Um, players, players no longer glitch when staying offenses in SMP. New bugs, sadly. Slimes are immune to all damage in SMP. All great. Um, cactus can be planted in water, but will be destroyed when it grows up. Um... Um, level, le levers can be placed at the bottom of a block as long as they're in an open space and a block horizontal to the open space. The lever will act as if placed on the horizontal block but looks glitched as... Sh um, let's look at that. What is that? <laughs> oh, that looks kind of funny. Wow, okay. Well, you can place... That's, yeah, definitely a bug. Um, if someone uses their bed in SMP, other players may get disconnected. Wooden slabs are best mined with a pickaxe, not an axe. Zombies cannot hurt players unless zombie... Okay, that's gonna be as Zombies cannot hurt players unless the zombies above them. That says unconfirmed, though, so I highly doubt. Large chests may cause crashes when opening them, um, which is also unconfirmed, because it may be caused by the mods. If debug screen is toggled on in a world and you have save and quit to tile screen, the graph stays on the screen. Oh, okay. Well, don't. Make sure you untoggle F3 before you save and quit. Uh, lighting bugs on portal water and ice blocks. Yeah, I saw that on the portal. When a player drowns above the empty hearts, all the ten full bubbles are shown. Oh, oh I know what it's saying. And, uh, yeah, that was the main update today. So I guess it says, let's test this, better mind, I mind take it fast. I don't, I don't have an axe on me, though, so. Just mine all these half blocks with pickaxes, and you will get them back extremely fast. Including sandstone. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is it for today's Minecraft video. Um, enjoy the update. I sure am enjoying the update so far. It's pretty sweet. And uh, see you guys later.